The film begins with a caravan of troopers transporting an exceptionally classified cargo from Area 51. As the officers speculated as to what it could be, a newly wed couple is driving down a similar road, and the spouse becomes occupied as he gets a blowjob. The couple collides with the truck, exploding themselves while the payload comes free. The troopers approach it and are met by a humongous zombie named Zeus, who continues to destroy the soldiers. He corners the two drivers and rips one's jaw off prior to biting the other one. The two become zombies, and Zeus has his sights set on Las Vegas. Zombies before long begin to overwhelm Vegas, leading several mercenaries to head in and dispose as many creatures as possible. Numerous casualties happen, however soon the entire city becomes walled off from the rest of the world. Years pass, and one of the mercenaries, Scott, is working at a cafe when he is approached by billionaire casino owner Tanaka. He informs Scott that there is $200 million underneath the Vegas Strip under his hotel, and he believes Scott and a group should get the cash before the government nukes Vegas to clear out every one of the zombies. Tanaka lets Scott know that he can take 50 million and split it among his group. Scott's little girl, Kate, works as a worker at a quarantine zone camp. She has a friend with a lady named Gita and helps her take care of her two children. Gita needs to enroll the aid of a lady named Lily, otherwise known as the Coyote, who helps smuggle people out of the camp past the city. Gita simply needs to get enough money to pay off the guard to get her and her children out of the camps. The women are then harassed by a guard named Cummings, who searches for whatever excuse he can to torture the ladies. Scott is haunted by the way that he had to kill his wife in front of Kate after she turned into a zombie, and it is part for why Kate hasn't seen him in years. He hesitantly agrees with Tanaka to proceed with the job. Scott starts by recruiting a close buddy and colleague, Maria Cruz, who is working as a repairman, she makes it a point to Scott, and they go enlist another previous partner, Vondero, who works at a retirement home. They then, at that point, pursue safecracker Dieter, helicopter pilot Marianne Peters, and zombie killer Mikey Guzman. The group goes to meet Tanaka to go over the plan. Guzman brings two different members, Damon and Chambers, in spite of the fact that Damon leaves when he discovers that zombies are involved. Tanaka gives the group blueprints for the job, and he sends them with his right-hand man, Martin. They head towards the city's entrance on where Scott reunites with Kate, despite the fact that it is clearly a rough reunion. They enlist Lily to go along with them, yet when Kate discovers that Gita asked Lily for help and didn't return from the city with her, Kate hits Lily in the face. Lily demands that she didn't expect to abandon Gita, however there is possibility she is as yet alive. Kate chooses to join the group, notwithstanding Scott's objections. Lily additionally figures out how to get Cummings to come, asserting she really wants another person. The group makes it into Vegas, where they find a zombie tiger named Valentine protecting the outside. As they continue to push ahead, Lily shoots Cummings in the leg and ties him up, expressing that there are more brilliant, more grounded alpha zombies out there, and she planned to get Cummings as an offering in retaliation for him assaulting the women at the camps. The group hides while the queen of the zombies. The bride drops by to sniff Cummings before she and another zombie drag him away to the Olympus Casino, where Kate figures Gita might be. Sure enough, Cummings is brought before Zeus and his crowd of alpha zombies, and Zeus transforms the guard into one of them with a bite. The group pushes forward underground where Lily cautions them about the resting zombies. They endeavor to move discreetly past the zombies, yet Chambers coincidentally bumps into one. She stabs it in the head, yet one more awakens. Head stab, then one more awakens. Head stab. The last one's arm makes some trays to slide down, causing noise that awakens every one of the zombies. The group starts to fire on them and Chambers figures out how to kill a couple, yet she becomes overpowered and bitten. She shifts focus over to Guzman, who repentantly shoots one of her fuel tanks to blow her and other zombies up, so the others can get out. The group makes it further in, where they find more blueprints to the building, meaning Tanaka has had different groups come in and die for his money. Martin claims to deny knowing anything into it. The group separates, with Martin and Lily going to do a perimeter check, Peters firing up the helicopter and Dieter joining Vanderoe and Guzman to the vault, 
and Scott and Kate go to turn on the power. Meanwhile, Dieter attempts to find a safe way into the safe when he and the others finds many skeletons of other mercenaries. Outside, Martin and Lily encounter the bride. Martin figures out how to overwhelm her and behead her. Let Lily know that the head is worth more than whatever is in the vault. Zeus later rides by on his zombie horse with his own bulletproof helmet and finds the bride's headless body. He grieves her and takes out their unborn zombie child. He roars and leads different alphas to get the humans. Van der Rohe and Guzman find a zombie to use as lure by throwing a microwaved hand to the end of the hall. With the goal that he can set off all the booby traps and leave the path safe for the other three. Simultaneously, the others discover that the nuke send-off has been moved up, leaving them until nightfall to get the money and escape. The helicopter begins to break down, and Peters needs to fix it. The rest of the group reconvenes somewhere near the vault where Dieter effectively opens it. The group cheers in their discovery and begins to take their shares out. On their way out, Maria confesses to Scott that she consented to the mission not for the cash, but rather for him. He concedes that he assumed he missed things between them after the outbreak, yet it seems they will offer it one more shot, and afterward, a lift loaded with zombies descends. One of them snatches Maria's head and twits it 180 degrees to Scott's horror, yet he is forced to fight and run. Meanwhile, Martin traps Lily as he escapes with the bride's head, saying that is what Tanaka needed from the beginning, fully intent on utilizing her DNA to make an entire zombie army to control. Dieter and Van der Rohe ward off the zombies close to the vault. However, Dieter is killed while Van der Rohe becomes trapped inside the vault when it closes. The group continues to attempt to escape. However, Guzman is bitten and sets off grenades to kill the zombies and himself. Martin tries to grab the head yet is found by Valentine, who throws him around violently until finally making a meal out of Martin's head. Scott and Lily make it to the fixed helicopter, yet they are found by Zeus. Lily holds the bride's head, having exchanged it before Martin found out, and utilizes it to hold Zeus off while Scott and Peters move away. Zeus spears Lily with a bar, yet she throws the bride's head and makes it splatter on the pavement before Zeus can get it. Scott realizes that Kate went to the Olympus to try to find Gita, and he persuades Peters to help him find her. Kate finds Gita and another lady named Sadie. They encounter the zombified Cummings, who kills Sadie before other zombies appear. Kate shoots Cummings in the head while attempting to pull off Gita, the two encounter Scott, who holds Zeus off with a grenade. They come to the rooftop, where Peters seems to have left them, yet she returns after changing her mind. As they fly away, Zeus jumps onto the chopper and battles Scott. Peters attempts to fly quickly enough similarly as the nuke drops onto Vegas. In the following chaos, Zeus bites Scott in the arm. However, he figures out how to get his weapon and blows Zeus's brains out. The effect of the blast catches up to the chopper and causes it crash, killing Peters and Gita. Kate survives and goes to Scott, who is dying. He gives her enough cash to assist Gita's children to get out of the camp. She mournfully expresses farewell to her dad and shoots him in the head when he turns into a zombie. Kate breaks down as another helicopter comes to recover her. In the ruins of Vegas, Vanderohe rises up out of the vault with his shares of the money. He finds a vehicle and drives to an airport where he rent a private plane. As he does a toast with the attendants, he begins to feel dazed. Van der Rohe goes to the washroom and finds a bite mark on his arm, and the pilot says they are about to descend into Mexico City. Please, like and subscribe. Watch now more of my videos. Thank you!